Hey guys, this is Raymond from Digital Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting technos in episode 218. Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger warned that the global chip shortage was likely linger for a lot longer. He said that he expect the shortage to extend at least until 2023. The CEO also revealed that the industry-wide component shortage affected its PC chip business during the third quarter which led to an 8 percentage drops in the Intel stocks. And Gelsinger believes that the shortage is presently at its worst but it will get better incrementally with each quarter next year. Supply demand balance cannot be expected until at least 2023. Smartphone sales in India during the 2021 festive season will hit a whopping 7.6 billion US dollars. The sales begin in the first week of October and they are expected to last until Diwali November 4th. It was Amazon and Flipkart who kicked off this year festive season sale with their Great Indian Festival and Big Billion Days respectively. A leakster has revealed that the upcoming MacBook Air will use a brand new M2 chip. While its performance specifications have not been unmentioned, the processor will most likely not be more powerful than M1 Pro and M1 Max chips that the latest MacBook Pros came with. Rockstar Games for a long time was in talks for remastering the old GTA games. The older game including GTA 3, GTA Vice City and GTA San Andreas will now arrive with a fresh coat of graphics. Today Rockstar has shared a release date of these games. The GTA Trilogy Defective Edition will be launched on November 11th on all platforms like PlayStation, Xbox, PC and Nintendo. It will be a digital version and the physical version of the trilogy will be released on December 7th. Furthermore, it is touted that later in 2022 the re- Master Trilogy will be launched for mobile devices. Even with the popularity of earbuds, manufacturers are still making other forms of headphones including the wireless neckband style type. For fans of neckband wireless headphones, OnePlus neckband style wireless are sold under the Bullet Wireless line. And considering it has been an year since the launch of OnePlus Bullet Wireless Z, according to the source, the OnePlus will soon launch wireless Bluetooth neckband earphones in India. And we can expect some basic functions such as water and sweat resistance, quick switch, fast pair and wrap charge. The Pixel 4 was one of the two flagship phones Google announced in 2019. The phone had a different design from the Pixel 3, but it turns out it could have a different design. Prototype photos of the Pixel 4 has been posted on the web and they show Google experimented with a curved display for the flagship. The retail version of the Pixel 4 has a flat display. The Realme GT Neo 2 is available in three colors: Neo Blue, Neo Black, and Neo Green color. The green is appeared to be favorite as Realme has launched some other product in the same color, such as Realme Watch T1 and the Realme Buds A2. It may soon extend the paint job to other popular products, including the Realme Pad and the Realme Book. This information was leaked by the Madhav Seth, who was the Realme Vice President and newly appointed President of Realme International Business Group. Realme 9 Pro Plus was spotted on the IMEA database. This smartphone could launch alongside the Realme 9 and Realme 9 Pro. Realme 9 series is slated to launch in early 2022. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra renders are here. The high-end tablet will feature a notch for the selfie camera and slim bezels. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra will support dual rear cameras and quad speakers. Huawei will release both P50 and P50 Pro globally early next year. The upcoming devices from the brand will come powered by Huawei's own Harmony OS. Both the phones from Huawei are powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset. Popular instant messaging application WhatsApp has announced that it will stop working on some smartphones from November 1st. If you are using an old Android phone or an iPhone, then you may need to worry about WhatsApp support. Facebook on WhatsApp has confirmed that it will stop supporting phones that are not running Android OS 4.1 and above and iOS 10 and above. Please check out the screen for the following smartphones which will not support WhatsApp from November 1st. PhonePe will charge a transaction fee on mobile recharges above rupees 50. Users will be charged a fee between rupees 1 and rupees 2 on mobile recharges including transaction done through UPI. No transaction fees would be charged on other UPI transactions. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.